Hello friend, it's Mark out on the back 40. And in this episode, um, we're, I'm going to just review real quick a property layout um, using the DIY property planner that uh, I put together. So if you don't have a copy of that, go in the link below. Um, there's a, it doesn't cost anything. Just hit the link and go download the planner. It's got 15 steps to it, and I'm just gonna go through it step by step in this video here. Uh, I'm only gonna do a few examples of this. This will be one of them. And then uh, I think you'll get the gist of it if you watch a couple of these examples. And uh, once you have it, I hope that it has helped you. What, what, what it is not, is it's not a fine detailed plan. It's just, it's just uh, 30,000 foot building blocks for you to get you in the idea and the concept and get your head right of where to place food plots, where to place a blind, where to place bedding, and the importance of each of those things. It does not cover the finer details of that. There's a ton of videos on YouTube on how to do that stuff. What I felt was missing on YouTube was the big picture. Where should I be putting all these things that you talk about on these videos all the time. So, so here you go, I hope that it helps. Again, if you don't have it downloaded yet, hit that link below right now, get it downloaded, and then go through this video. And there's a couple other videos that go with it. Uh, go to the channel, you can see those if you need more examples. All right, here you go. Okay, let's go with another 40 acre piece. If you're looking for a, the design of a square 40, look at the original video I did on the DIY Habitat Planner. I did a square 40 on that one. This is a long 40. Um, so uh, let's just, uh, again, I've done steps one through nine here. I'll let you look at it a second so you can kind of see what's going on. Let's just say your house is up front. You, you dug a pond in the middle a few years ago. You put a little food plot there so you could hunt it and see from the house. Uh, you got a neighbor over here, you got a camp over here. You know, they come seasonally and come and play around. They turkey hunt, they deer hunt, but they don't live there permanently. Um, but a lot of pressure when they do come. You got public land over here. And uh, these guys over here don't hunt. They just love being out in the outdoors. So that's kind of what we'll, that's our scenario that we'll say. So again, this is all step one through nine, pretty self-explanatory. I'm starting at step 10. Um, Fairly flat land, so no elevation changes that we need to take into consideration. It's pretty high and dry. So it's pretty, this one's a pretty easy one to lay out, at least for the trail. So I'm on step 10, which are, we're drawing the outermost trail that you can possibly draw on your property for, for a walking path. And you can make it into a wider path if you wanna make it a quad trail or a, or a truck trail, it doesn't matter. Um, but you at least need to be able to get there walking. So. Again, you would walk up the dry, up the driveway. You could use the road or just make your own trail here. And it's pretty easy. You can just go right around the whole outside of the property, just like that. This is what I think is the key to most properties, is that access trail. So now we've got uh, a trail in place. So let's go to step 11. So we're gonna choose a place to put blinds or stands on each side of the property, at least one, okay? So let's put a blind. If we were to pick, if I were to pick the south side here, um, because the house is right here, I would use that. So you're, you're, so I, you know, especially if you got a pond and a food plot right here. For me, I'm thinking just go outside the yard right here somewhere and put a blind right here. Okay. So any kind of a north wind, that is where you're going to be hunting. Um, so let's go to the east line. Um, maybe the same thing. You can, I always like to put them about halfway. If there's no feature that forces you into a spot or that you can take advantage of an edge that's there or some kind of a, a structure or something, if there's nothing there, just put it right in the middle if you can. But a little bit of help is this pond and this food plot. So, you know, I, I guess I'm, I'm probably trying to go something like this. Put the blind there. Again, that's for anything that's got any kind of a westerly wind to it. Um, let's head up to the north side here. Again, it's pretty simple. I would put it kind of right in the middle right here. And then down here, almost the same thing. I would put it almost across from there so you can maybe use that pond a little bit. So maybe kind of right about in here. All right. So that's how I would set that up. And then, uh, so we're going to draw our hunting zone around each of them. Because it's public land, you can, you can recover anywhere. So you would, you would be able to hunt completely around that one. A lot of pressure over here, doesn't matter. These guys will let you hunt, let's say, or let you recover game. 
So we can hunt all the way around that blind too. This blind, of course, and uh, let's just say these ones. So there you go. So there's your hunting zone around each of the blinds that you have there now, right? Okay, so let's go to step 13. There is no ag. There's no ag anywhere around here. All you've got is maybe some oak trees and maybe some clear cuts here and there, but there's no major destination for these deer. That, that's fine because you're gonna put in some food plots and you're gonna be the thing that really starts to draw them in, okay? So, um, so you do have a food plot here. So let's just, let's just kind of go through this a second. So if you, the, the, there's no, very little food anywhere. So you get to control that. So how you do that is you would probably expand this a little bit. Maybe you'd expand it a little bit here if you could. That's going to help these two blinds. And now, can you see this? You're, if you have some kind of food in here that you can service these three blinds with that food, that's kind of what you're after. Um, I might split that up though. I haven't done this. I like literally am doing this right now. I'm thinking about this. I think maybe I would do some kind of a, a food plot maybe that was shaped like this. So now you're hitting both of these blinds and you're around that. And then this one is just going to have its own food plot. And you're just going to make it a boomerang shape like this. Okay. So now we're going to draw lines from our shooting zones into the food plots, which is very simple here. I mean, this can be anywhere. And this one's pretty simple too. Food plot, blind, I mean, they all intersect. So where do you think on here you would put your bedding? Again, bedding is the most important thing. Well, to get them to come up into here, you can really put bedding all around in here. So this is gonna be a big bedding area, right? Because then when they get up from bedding, they're gonna come into the food, which is gonna bring them into your plot, into your hunting zone into your hunting zone and you could put bedding because you've got right here if you've got bedding in here you're going to draw them through there to that food plot and through here into this food plot and you really can wrap it around in here too if you can get a little bedding up in this area you can get them to come in through here and in through here So in a situation like this, you really can, uh, the bedding is very flexible because they don't have a spot where they're really driven to go every night. If you put a little bit of food around your blind, that's where they're going to go, right? So you don't have to be as picky about it. Um, what you want to do is keep, think, keep the food and the bedding kind of in towards the middle. So you have the outside for travel and screening. And then you, can, you have a lot of flexibility of what you're going to be able to do with that situation. So, okay, I think that after these three or four examples that we've got now, that's enough. You kind of you see the concept, you see the process, you see some of the thoughts. Uh, if you have questions, throw them in the comments below. I'll try and answer them for you. Otherwise, I think I'm pretty good here. And, um, you know, there's a lot more work that you need to do. This is just to help you get the blocks, get the kind of the, the big picture, the idea of where to put this and where to put that. There are a lot of fine details, which is the fun stuff. Like, well, where exactly should I put the food plot? What should I plant in the food plot? Uh, where should I put the, the trails to get them to walk? Like, how do I encourage them to go from the bedding into that spot? Well, you, you do a little game trail here and there. So those are the finer details that I think there's enough information on YouTube to find that information. I think what was missing was mostly big picture stuff. Where do I put bedding? Where do I put a stand or a blind? Where should I put a food plot if they're not already out there? How do I get around water? You know, those types of things. I think that this will help you get a long ways along in, in that. So, uh, all right, that's it. Thanks for watching.